achieving that task. So they have a naturally grumpy attitude and we've trained maybe half a dozen of these Egyptian vultures over the years and they pretty much all are very, very grumpy birds. And uh, when we first started training Frank uh, to do what he does naturally in the wild, which is interesting, uh, I'll tell you, uh, he actually uh, breaks eggs for a living, that's his job in the wild. So if you ever want to see an Egyptian vulture truly excited, like a little Jack Russell that's uh, going out for a walk, bouncing up and down. If you show them an egg, they just tremble with excitement, because that's their favourite food. In the wild, rather than being at the back of the queue, they're entrepreneurial. They go out and visit nesting colonies of birds, the elite baby birds that are unattended, but as I said, breaking eggs is their favourite way of getting a meal. So small eggs, easy peasy, he can crunch them with his beak, but when it comes to an egg the size of a chicken egg and going up, then, oh well, it's really, really interesting how they get into them. So the first time I gave Frank an egg, bear in mind he was bred in captivity, I put the egg next to him, he tried rolling it this way, he tried rolling it that way, he tried to open his beak wide enough to pick it up, but of course that doesn't work because he hasn't got a big mouth. So what he did, it took him about 10 minutes to work it out, he picked up a stone and then started throwing.